If you're wondering whether or not you should update to the latest NVIDIA driver 545.84, I think you've clicked on the right video. Because in today's video, I'll compare the latest driver against the previous driver 537.58. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, as mentioned in the intro, I'll be comparing the latest driver from yesterday, 545.84 versus the previous driver, 537.58. Um, before I get to my results, guys, please just, um, if you subscribe to the channel, just make sure that you have the notification icon selected. If you're new to the channel and you find this video helpful, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And then just have a look on my homepage under optimization, it says videos on how to unlock undervolting. Full GPU optimization, full CPU optimization, throttle stop and MSR afterburner tutorials, etc. But guys, um, just getting back to the task at hand, uh, the latest driver, I, it's not a great driver. Um, I'll get to my results in a second, but I'm going to link the uh, GeForce GRD forum and you'll see there are a hell of a lot of complaints on this latest driver. Um, it's causing a litany of issues. But um, before I get to these results, I just want to say one thing, guys. Um, I think tomorrow I'm going to compare a whole bunch of NVIDIA drivers, you know, uh, just so I can uh, highlight which is the best NVIDIA driver going ahead, um, as opposed to just adding average FPS and 1% lows. I will also be adding 0.1% lows just to make my benchmarks so much more uh, accurate. But at that, let's get to those results. So, um, as mentioned, I'm comparing the previous driver 537.58 versus uh, 545.84. All my games are tested at medium settings, with the exception of the newer games, they're tested at low, because I do test on a GTX 1650 laptop. All games tested are single player. Where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 is available, I use quality setting. And then um, lastly, I, I did mention I test on a GTX 1650 laptop. So um, I reckon uh, if you've got an RTX card, anything 36 and up, uh, expect your results to differ because um, yeah, the way RTX interfaces with drivers is a little bit different. It's a different technology, but for most GTX cards, your results should be very similar to mine. So on the previous driver, it was a driver I really recommended and it, um, it had improved the DPC latency, uh, great average FPS and great 1% lows. So when I add up all the average FPS over 15 games, I got to 902. And then when I, when I added up all the 1% lows over 15 games, I got to 643. Then for the latest driver, which um, isn't a terrible driver, but it is a step back, when I added up all the average FPS, I got to 902, so no difference in terms of average FPS. But when I add up all the 1% lows, um, not a hell of a lot of a drop, but there is, this, there is a noticeable drop. Over 15 games, I get 638 1% lows total. So um, most of the games actually have similar 1% lows, but there are certain games where you notice quite a big drop. Return all, there's quite a big drop. Um, where is it else? Uh, Remnant is the same. Red Dead Redemption 2 is pretty much the same. Dead Space Remake uh, is actually slightly better. But they, uh, if you if you have a look, all these figures, they, they're either the same or slightly a little bit low, below 537.58. For the time being, guys, I don't recommend upgrading to this later driver. As you will see if you go through the uh, game ready uh, forum, it's causing a, a stuff load of issues still. So everything that they fixed in, in the previous driver 537.58 sort of has been reverted again. So my opinion, don't upgrade to the latest driver 545.84. The numbers look great, new, higher, but it's not it's not all it's meant to be. Um, I think this is this driver is a step back. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And as always, if you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. It's the middle of the week. we almost at the weekend. It's time for the World Cup semi-finals. Happy days. Have a good one. It's people like you. Cheers. Mm -hmm.